Uh, we're Hilton and Ames, and we got the uh, dual meet between Iowa and Iowa State. David Carr, we'll just call him a, a legacy, a legacy uh, athlete. You know, his dad wrestled here, his brother wrestled here. I'm probably missing one. There might have been another family member here. And then he's obviously a highly touted kid out of high school, four-time state champ. He just won the Junior Worlds this year over uh, overseas. So Dave Carr has Cable Young, and I think he's number two. You know, this kid's tough. He's stingy. He's a PA kid. He's already been on the podium. He's wrestled at the NCAA tournament pressure situations. I told him, I said, David, we don't get the chance to be the daggone underdog much. Probably in this in your in your career. Guess what? Embrace it because you're the underdog today. Rankings, I'm an underdog, so I have nothing to lose, and I'm just excited to go out there and wrestle and have fun. You know, I love wrestling. And I love wrestling with good opponents. Beginning of the year, first huge test for him. You know, it's kind of how I look at it and it's, it's gonna be in one of the greatest environments he could ask for. For me, it's an awesome opportunity for him to go out and showcase how tough I know he is, because I know how darn tough that kid is. It's gonna be super exciting, I look forward to it. It's a historic place, you know, my dad's wrestled at it, and a lot of great wrestlers, Kel Sanderson, Gable, you know, all those guys. You know, if both these guys open up, which I sure hope they will, um, there's gonna be a lot of scrambling, a lot of unbelievable offense and wrestling going on. And if that's happened, I feel really good because I, I know our guy can wrestle. Put him in any position, he's winning it. He's, he's that good. snaps, pop, pop, bam, pop, pop, bam. Go! 
still mate was huge and so that's exciting and I you know that would give you a little bit of nerves and so I felt that and uh, I tried to use it for energy and get me excited and really try to go off, go after that guy felt good I felt like I, I knew I needed to get a takedown that was kind of the mindset just get a takedown St. John does a really good job of riding grabbing wrists he's really good on top so I kind of knew like where I stood on bottom as a freshman because like he tried to ride me and I could get away and he rode everyone in his career in college so like he felt, I made, felt comfortable he could have rode me a little bit but I just felt comfortable as far as like I'm gonna get my one and then third pier I was just like I need to get a takedown um just getting the leg and the first time I really got the leg where I felt good and I just really wanted to capitalize on it and then when I brought him down I was able to get a cradle and immediately I was thinking I want to get a pin but I need to get the takedown so once I got the takedown, I was like, all right, I don't want to do anything stupid, so I don't want to rush it and see if I can get a pin. But I wasn't able to because he arches back out pretty good, felt strong in that position, so I didn't want to rush anything. Yeah. Um, and when the buzzer hit and the buzzer hit, you win, the crowd goes crazy. How are you feeling? That was amazing. Hilton, Hilton Magic, just, it was, I mean, I know I'm going to work so hard now just so I can get that feeling again. Does this give you a boost of confidence that like you're, you stack up right with the best in the country? I think it gives me a little bit of confidence and it gives me um, just that added bonus to work hard. You know, and I think just when you win a match like that, it just tells you you keep working hard, keep your head low, stay humble, and keep working. Awesome. I appreciate the time. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank yep. you. Great job.